Hello there, my Taurus Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Taurus? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Taurus. What's going on, Taurus? <sighs> Taurus, I wanted to say, okay. God protects me, and God fights my battles. No weapon against me shall fall. Move forward in strength. And trust in your Father, knowing his love is strong. Okay, Taurus, I was drawn to sing that, and I do not know why. Though, take it how it resonates here. What we got going on? Oh, triple sixes. Okay, Taurus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Lord have mercy. Ooh, no wonder. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone's going to be getting some information they're not going to be too happy about here, Taurus. There is a situation. Balance being brought in. Movement away. Triple six is here, but it's not always a bad energy. This is just... Uh, uh, things balancing out. Those are beautiful cards. But. This almost feels like a, a spiritual type energy. Someone could be going through some sort of. Uh. I was wanting to say East Extential Crisis when it comes to their religious beliefs. It's really feeling religious. I got to tell you, I don't know why, uh, Taurus. I don't know if you're a spiritual person, but that feels like um, uh, excommunicated from the church. I mean, seriously, that, that really feels like um, being imprisoned by your uh, religious beliefs or feeling... Um, Now, the P word's too uh, too strong. This is just you know, like excommunication type energy. You know what I mean? Excommunicated. Uh, so, uh, those of you that are Catholic, maybe someone's going through a situation and, you know, you're going to get excommunicated. Uh, I've known a family friend that said they got excommunicated three times from the Catholic Church. So, you know, I don't know how the hell that works, y'all, but I guess it is what it is, right? So, we got an energy here. This feels more like on a spiritual note. I got to tell you that, uh, Taurus. It feels more like a spiritual type uh, energy. Um, and that could be what causes that sort of crisis of consciousness for somebody. If someone's strong religious uh, beliefs or affiliation... Um, I want to say gets gets like stripped from them, but it's not like in that sort of manner. You know, I mean, if you were born and raised a Catholic and that was your religion, right? And then, you know, something happened and you got excommunicated. Um, that could affect you. Uh, is it preacher energy for some? Maybe this is like a, a preacher moving on, maybe moving on to another uh, church or another Religion? Ace of Wands here with the Eight of Wands. Uh, oh, could a preacher change denomination, guys and gals? This is interesting. This feels like a, uh, an East Extential uh, religious uh, situation. Um, damn. Damn. Maybe due to some sort of separation. 
I got to bring that up only because, like I said, this feels like uh, that excommunication from the church. Uh, you know, it's most Catholics, the divorce, right? They get excommunicated. So someone who has a strong spiritual belief, a strong spiritual rooting, could definitely be going through a situation, especially if there was some sort of um, separation or divorce. And that could be what causes somebody to kind of go through a little uh, crisis of consciousness. Uh, this is the, the, the spiritual battle, uh, a sort of uh, spiritual... I don't, it's not even like an awakening, because this feels like someone's just feels... This feels like someone who feels let down by their religion. I got to tell you that. Or someone who, who feels very strongly about their religious affiliation, that this is a this is something that they t totally take to heart. You know what I mean? Um, could be an older energy here with this emperor. Um, someone who had strong faith and belief. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think too many younger people would really take excommunication as being, uh, you know, a life-altering experience, especially if they're not practicing still. But someone who was very heavy into a situation, into a religion all their life, could feel it uh, definitely. You know, they broke bread with this person. They they did all the, uh, um, you know, all the affiliations with the church. They were a part of it. Uh, deacon energy. Uh, damn. This is a person who remembers being baptized. I'm picking up uh, Catholicism only because with this right here, I'm getting that energy of uh, when they pick up their uh, Catholic name. I know it's got a fancier name, y'all, but I'm not familiar with the religion. You know what? They add like uh, two or three more words to their name. I only know that because I know Madonna's is uh, uh, Madonna Luis Veronica Ciccone. Uh, what, what do they call it when they do their... Um, It's, it's confirmation, confirmation. Damn, Taurus, this got deep really fucking quick. But um, this feels like a, 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 a spiritual journey someone's going to have to take. Maybe someone's going to find another religion or move towards another uh, form of religion. I know there's Catholic, and I know there's Roman Catholics. Now, y'all, I'm not really familiar with how they all operate, but someone could be taking their excommunication pretty, pretty fucking, um, pretty freaking, uh, <sighs> here's this Empress in that Four of Pentacles. Mm. So, here's the Empress energy with the Four of Pentacles. Taurus, I, I, um, sweet Jesus. I don't know what they would excommunicate you from the Catholic Church. Everyone knows like the biggie is divorce, right? So, uh, if you have a family situation, a family dynamic, which was very heavy in a religious belief, Right, born, raised, very heavily rooted in their spiritual belief. Um, and a situation happens at excommunication. That could be the basis of this. I don't think it's, I don't even know where you would go to get help. Uh, probably another preacher or find another religion and talk to another priest or preacher in order to understand uh, this, this leg of your journey, um, it is like a passing in the fact that, you know, if you were so entwined into that, um, 
religion, how you would move on to another one, or how they even, if they really enforce it, I mean, do they got like bouncers at the door that's going to kick you out if you've been excommunicated and you walk in? I, mean, I don't know. Someone's really taking it hard. So someone's going to be taking that spiritual journey, that spiritual awakening, but maybe just going a little deeper than what they had before. Yeah, this is that that sort of stuck energy, but it's like that spiritual stuck. It's it's that um how do you want to put it? You've grown up with it, you've grown up with that thought system, you've grown up with that belief system. It is it is as much a part of you as the air that you breathe because it has been so heavily uh uh kind of weaved into the fabric of your life. So it is going to be very binding or restricting. But it's only when you choose to let it. It's only when you choose to let it. I feel like this is going to be a, a, a experience that's going to allow someone to get closer to uh, their spirituality than what they've ever been before. Because spirit, this is like... You know, I'm wanting to say this is the energy of... It's not necessarily uh, the place of worship that's important. It's the fact that you believe. This is faith-based alone, right? It's not the accoutrements that come with it. It's your inner belief that keeps you uh, free, that, that gives you that connection to God. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like it's, it's good to burn your incense and your sage to clean your space, but at the end of the day, if your prayers and your belief system are strong and your connection to the divine is, is strong, everything else is just, you know, it's just like the pomp and circumstance. This is going to be a spiritual awakening, a beautiful spiritual journey. Someone's going to get closer to God on this. It feels like it's been weighing a little heavily, more heavily than what it has before. Something's kind of come full circle or come around. Because here's them, here's them three cards again. Six of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, into the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is that journey. This is that this is the evolution of the, the spiritual awakening, the evolution of the spiritual journey. Right? Uh some were chose, some just went. How's that go? Some were picked, some were chosen, and some just went. It, it's kind of like that. This is someone's own personal journey into their uh, spiritual connection. But <laughs> I have I have to add this. And everyone, you know, your your spiritual beliefs are your beliefs. We're not dissing anyone's belief system here. But you know, do you really think spirit is going to make you feel trapped or or less than if you truly have that connection with uh, your higher uh, power, your father up above, your belief system. Do you really think God's going to keep you stuck in this energy? If uh, you are a believer, you know that when situations like this arise, it's, it's because God wants you to see something a little different. He wants you to see something a little different. You know, uh, wow. Wow. We're going to leave it at that. You can figure this out. This is If this is your journey, this is what you got to figure out. You got to get, get one with your maker. You got to become, uh, uh, you got to get that personal relationship with uh, the higher uh, uh, entity deity that you choose to worship. It is that spiritual awakening. And Mama Mary down there. Mother Mary, pick it up Catholic on this really... Really big time. You know. Okay. Understanding Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of our sins. Understand that. Don't. Uh, this is like get off the cross. Someone else needs the wood. Someone's just going to go through and get a spiritual awakening. A spiritual revamp. They're going to understand things on a whole different level. Uh, it's the difference between sitting in the pew and listening to the preacher preach a sermon and 
saying, wow, you know, that's that's horrible. Between actually going in and experiencing that same sort of storyline in your life, almost verbatim, and actually having it resonate. You know what I mean? This is a beautiful energy, but, you know, that spiritual journey can kick your ass. Especially if something has been so such a part of who you are, like woven into your fabric, the existence that you are. Mm. This could be the conflict. And for some of you, that I think that's going to be the conflict. If someone wanted to change up and, and change religions or make a change uh, to understand how that works. Kind of that it's okay. I mean, it's, it's like God don't care which house you worship in as long as you fucking worship. Uh, pardon my French. Ooh, 22 here. 227 could mean something. That inner struggle to find peace and balance. God don't want you overthinking things. God don't want you in conflict with yourself. Uh, it's that spiritual journey. Uh, you got someone working on it. And someone definitely, I'm definitely feeling excommunication from the church. So this isn't going to be everybody's reading. Take it if it's yours. Uh, if it's not, you know, leave the energy here. But in the process of that, this is going to bring someone actually closer to believing more than they've ever believed, no matter how many times they walked in and out of that church door. You know, it's the difference between what you do for pomp and circumstance, what you do because it's just habit, uh, what you do because it's just a part of you, but looking outside that in order to understand. For some people, actually understanding that close connection with spirit Sweet Jesus, Taurus. <laughs> what the fucking hell? Um, I wasn't raised going to church, okay? Uh, my story with religion, my brother suicided when I was eight years old. We used to go to a little uh, country church. And, uh, you know, as my mom tells the story, uh, after he did it, and the preacher showed up to the house and told him that, you know, he's burning in hell because he killed himself. We just never discussed religion. It's not that we didn't believe in God. It just wasn't something that, you know, it was a, a sort of a, a, a set thing. You know what I mean? So growing up, we didn't. We did for a little while. We were going to a cute little church uh, out in the country. But from my mom's perspective, if you had that happen, I mean, right? Someone could be going through the same experience. But, you know, when you're meant to find that sort of connection to spirit, your spirituality, your spirituality, whatever the hell it is, your religion, your spirituality, however you want to look at it, your belief system in uh, as far as religion goes. Between what you just know and what you've just done out of just pure habit and actually knowing, it's an awakening. Um, this is when you get closer to spirit than you've been, right? You realize that it don't matter. It don't matter the house that you worship in. It just matters that you worship and you believe, Right? That's the difference between understanding when um, someone says, let go and let God, and let spirit work its way in your life, in your situation. Between hearing someone say that and think that is utter bullshit, to when you know when you say that, that yes, when you let go and let God work through your situation, you will be amazed. That moment in your life when you finally get that realization, that true sense of belief in your uh, God, that you truly believe. And when you get that, that sort of sigh, 
it's like a soul sigh, and you're able to just release all the burdens. Whew. Damn it, Taurus, y'all gonna make my bitch ass cry. That that release comes, the enlightenment. It don't matter where you pray, as long as you're praying. Don't matter what you believe, as long as you believe. That's a spiritual awakening. It's going to kick your ass. But when you get to that point and you understand. When someone says let go and let God. You believe it. Because you know for a damn fact that it's the truth. That's when you go from just being a. Uh, a follower. To being a true believer. That's the difference between just being a follower and being a true believer. Taurus, we got a king of pentacles right here. Right smack dab in the center. Masculine or feminine, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of across the board. Hmm. Damn, Taurus, what the fuck, what the fuck? That's what it is, to go from being just a follower to a believer. Hmm. Ten of Cups with the Justice card. This is that, you know, letting go and letting God. Trusting. Divine intervention. Divine timing. As above, so below type energy. That it don't matter what house you worship in, as long as you worship, as long as you believe, as long as you have faith. That's all that matters. Love. From the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. So, any of you Torrens going through this, okay? This is a beautiful opportunity. And it's going to be that sort of uh, crisis of consciousness. It's going to be something that's going to affect you. And you're going to feel... A little encumbered, most definitely. You're going to feel stuck and trapped. This is a, that mental belief. This is that mental thought pattern. But at the end of the day, it's going from just being a fucking believer, being a follower to being a believer. You're on that cycle. You're on that journey to enlightenment. When you learn to let go and let God, that will of fortune is just about trusting faith. Your faith and trust. Knowing that the universe has got your back. Yes, that will of fortune. You have your highs, you have your lows. That's just the ebb and flow. But it's when you're at your lowest that your faith keeps you going to get you through them harder times in order to really appreciate the positive energy that's coming in. Right? How's that saying go? Uh, you know, we're not supposed to understand why things happen. They just do. Everything is as it should be. It's that ebb and flow of that cycle. So... Someone's on a spiritual journey. There's really nothing nothing a person can say except let go and let God. And when you can get to the point in your life where you can say that and actually mean it, then, you know, hallelujah, praise Jesus, you pass the test. Okay? So, <laughs> whew, this is like three, four times I wanted to tear up in your all's reading tours. <sighs> that spirit, man, it's strong. So you got to believe that. This is just, you know, instead of just following, this is when you fucking believe. And it, it will knock you on your ass. But it will lift you the fuck up as well. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Damn it, Taurus. I haven't cried in a while, and you all making me cry. 
Here's the joy, though. Here's the joy. <laughs> you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. <sighs> Damn it, Taurus. We're just going to break all the rules on your all's reading here. Let's throw some bells. Hang in there. If you need to, go go uh, talk to another preacher. Go talk to another church. Um, go talk to uh, someone that you feel is spiritually enlightened. Uh, for some of you, it's finding another church. If you like the... the I'm, I say pomp and circumstance just because of the, you know everything that's involved. You like that sort of routine? Just... Go find another church. Go find another church. Peace, love, and light, Taurus.